You have been a, a huge proponent for CETA in your role um, responsible for the Department of Enterprise. Um, you mentioned tonight that, of course, it was something that was uh, worked into the coalition agreement and it's something that's been endorsed by the mm -hmm. government. There's been some challenges to it uh, recently. Could we ask, as a, as a uh, on behalf of the Ireland Canada Business Association, I don't think we need to, but can you reaffirm your commitment to CETA and the importance um, that it will bring for both Ireland and Canada and Canada and the EU? Yeah, absolutely. As you know, it's already been provisionally applied, so we're already seeing most of the benefits from that um, with tariff-free trade on uh, so many different goods and um, a, a big increase in trade between Ireland and Canada in both directions. Um, in terms of ratifying the agreement itself, we've a uh, government commitment to do so. Uh, the barrier to that now at the moment is that it's been challenged in the courts as to whether or not we need a referendum. Uh, and I can't um, prejudice the outcome of that decision, uh, but certainly it's the intention of the government to uh, proceed with ratification if the court case uh, determines that a referendum isn't required. Um, but we have to wait for the outcome of that. And as you know, both France and Germany have run into some similar issues and haven't ratified yet. Um, but as a principle, we'd always like to be a first mover or early mover. Uh, when it comes to ratifying free trade agreements. So a little bit frustrated that we're kind of in the middle of the group at the moment, um, but determined to get that done as soon as we can.